Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture about how to calculate the soil line using arc trace. So here in this image where we have band 4 as a function of band 3. So these data for Landsat 7 OTM plus. So this 2D scatter plot was created by ELV software. So what is the soil line? So as a definition, the soil line is a linear relationship between reflectance values between red and near infrared and is defined by the equations near equal alpha red plus beta, where near and red correspond to the near infrared and red bands of the image and alpha is the slope of the line and beta is the y intercept so as is shown in this equation so i downloaded this data from Earth explorer usgs and this tutorial calculating the soil line we will need only band 4 and band 5 so as i am showing you here so band 4 and band 5 so you will find in description of this video the designation of this band and all information and details of this band so to read more about them so go to description of my video so now let's import my data so open archives and click on add data button so click on and navigate to the folder where you have your satellite image data and select them then click on add so let's do, do that so select bands and click on add so now i want to add my working area or area of interest so click on add data again and select your working area if it exists so let's make some modification of this feature and so color so it's okay so now what we will do so so what so we will create a sampling grid or a point station so for every pixel of this band so first to show the properties of this band so right, right click on raster and click on properties so click on properties and click on source so here is just to, to show some information like cell size so for this image the cell size is 30 meter so if you have a small working area we can use a space between point 30 meter so for example this area is slightly bit huge so we will use another spacing between point like uh, 90 or 60 meters so to do that so go to data management tools and click on sampling then click on create fishnet so double click on create fishnet and for output feature class so click on this folder for output and give so navigate to the folder where you want to save your feature and give it a name so for example points and click on save and for template extent so it is my working area so select the shift file or the working area feature and for cell size so scroll down to find cell size width and height 
So for cell size here, as I said to you before, so my working area is a little bit huge. So we will enter as a distance between point uh, 90 meter. So it's enter 90 meter and uh, check create label point. So select this one. After that, click on OK once you finish and wait till the process finish. So now let's explore a little bit the attribute table of created points. So zoom in like to see the projection of the point. So it cover a lot of area. So so like this you can get a lot of information that represent my working area. So now what we will do is to extract pixels values to this point. So to do that, so go to spatial analyze tools, then click on extraction. After that, so click on extract multi value to point. So you can use the second extract value to point if you have one raster. So here I have two rasters. So band four and band five. So click on extract multi values to point and then so import point feature. So drag and drop points label and import raster. So drag and drop rasters four and raster five. So for output field name, so give it a name. So here we give it so band 4 and for band 5 so output field name so it is band 5 once you finish click on ok and wait till the process finishes so let me open the attribute table to to see my data so click on open attribute table as you see here for each point we have the pixel data so for band 4 and band 5 so now what we will do so we will copy and paste this data in excel so let's to do that so first of all we will create an excel file so an excel sheet so right click in your desktop and the Click on Microsoft Excel worksheet. So, to, so give it a name, and then go back to Archives. So and uh, click on Table Options. So click on this button, and click on Export. So go to Export icon. and click on browse so to define output table so let's give it a name for example band 4 and 5 and here for the type type so select the text file so we will select text file so select it so this is the, the type of the fi output file and for the name let's give for example b4 and b3 and b5 Then click on save. So now open Excel and click on file, then click on open and click on browse. So click on browse. And then so go to the file where you put you the text file. So here for the type, so select text file. So select text file. Then and click on open. So here, keep it and click on next. Then check 
gamma then click on next so after that click on finish and here we are so now to create the sparse point so click on insert and the here under chart so select this scatter plot so select the scatter plot and then so right click and click on select data so click on select data 